Hello students, uh, this is Brock Skaggs. I'm going to create this video showing some basic two-dimensional plotting inside of Sage. And so I've got a few commented lines here as a guide. And so the first thing we're going to do is plot the sine of x function from 0 to 2 pi. And so as you'd guess, plot is the keyword to remember. And so if I just put PLO, you can see there's lots of different types of plot, plot 3D, plot 2D, uh, plot a vector field, and so forth here. Uh, for what we're doing, we'll just do the very basic plot. And so if I didn't know what was in plot, I could hit the question marks as usual in order to determine the documentation on plot. And so you can read through the inputs here and also see some examples down here below. Uh, basically, for us, it's going to be something very similar to this. We'll plot, we're plotting the sine of x, and we're going to have the start point and end point, basically. And so here we can do that very simply, saying let's plot the sine of x. Uh, sure, we'll say with respect to x between 0 and 2 times pi. And you can see we have the usual shape of the sine wave. Here, since we're doing with respect to x, I think we can even omit the with respect to x portion and place it just like so. And so let's go down to the next part here. We want to plot the sine of x and cosine of x on the same plot. Um, well, let's try this. Let's say something like plot the sine of x between 0 and 2 times pi. And here we'll change the color. Um, one way we, way we can change it is to say RGB color equals, uh, let's make it red. So 100. Zero, zero. And see what we have here. And so now we've got two different plots at this point, right? One for uh, the sine of x in blue, one for the sine of x except for it's red. And on this line, let's also put plus the plot of the cosine of x from 0 to 2 pi. And we'll put RGB color equal to, let's go green, and see what that does. And notice each time I'm evaluating, all I'm doing is holding down shift and hitting enter. And so now we have these two plots superimposed. Uh, let's just go ahead and put something written out here. Print, uh, I'll just put case 1 and print case 2 here. That way we can keep these straight. There we go. So now I've got case 1, here's my first case. Case 2, here's my second case here. And so we're plotting away. And so for the third one, another variation of this. Let's do the same thing as case two, except for instead of actually doing it like this, um, we can actually store these plots in variables. And so we can do something like P1 equals, and I'll just select the first plot, and we can say P2 equals, And I'll copy and paste the second plot. And you can also say something like show P1 plus P2. And so case 2 and 3 here uh, should look identical. There we go. Took a second. Here we go. Case 2 and 3 are identical except for the fact that one is being stored a little bit differently, and I believe I hit shift enter twice is why we're getting both of those. Uh, so one thing we could do is clear off some of this. I'll just hit backspace here, hit shift enter once, and this time be a little bit more patient. And we just get it one time there. Uh, so last but not least, we've got another one here. What if we're wanting to plot something except for uh, we don't have x as the independent variable? Um, say we want to do plot something with respect to t. Um, let's just try it first. Plot, we'll say t to the fourth. Let's go t cubed between negative 5 and 5. And we want plot t2 with respect to t and do something along those lines. And you can see we've got an error here. Error in the last line, it looks like line 13 it says. T is not defined. Uh, that's basically because Sage starts out, it knows X is a symbolic variable, but it doesn't know T. And so one of the way we can fix this is just going a line above it and say var, uh, and basically create a symbolic variable here. And I've opened and closed the parentheses, I've put the, the hyphen there, and I've got T inside of it. 
And so now it's saying, hey, t is a symbolic variable that I can now plot with in my plots there. And uh, just to, I guess, stay with convention here, we'll say print case 4. All right. And so there is some very simple plotting inside of Sage. And so hopefully this helps you uh, get a feel for two-dimensional plotting. And of course, you can obviously expand this to 3D plotting and the other plot types inside of the software. As usual, thank you for watching the video.